Alright, hey guys, welcome to a continuation to the video that I done a few months ago about the NVIDIA eGPU setup running on Mac OS Sierra. But recently, about a few weeks ago, they released the support software to get the NVIDIA graphics card to work on High Sierra. So, on this video, I'm just going to showcase you guys, like, the actual running form of it, like, it running here. So, as you can see here... GTX 1070 running on High Sierra with the latest drivers. I'll go into system report and graphics displays. And you can see here under video card and PCIe. So, what my setup is I'm running a 2015 MacBook Pro 13 inch model, Retina. And paired with that, I got a Kidio Thunder 2. And obviously, with the Kitty Thunder 2, a GTX 1070. So that's my setup. So, since um, uh, 2013 MacBook Pros, not the 13, the 15 MacBook Pros, have a Thunderbolt 2 port only, I'm only able to use the Thunder 2. There is a Thunder 3, I believe, for the Thunderbolt 3 MacBook Pros. Um... From what I heard, those tend to work better, especially the Kidio node, which has a built-in power supply, so you don't really have to provide power on your own without using another power supply from a computer to power your GPU setup and the enclosure. So if you are using a, a Thunderbolt 3 enabled MacBook, I recommend you getting a, a Kidio node, because that is more a plug-and-play um, solution so this is the setup the specs as you can see here so you might you have to go to this website that I will link below in the description where it has the support software with the NVIDIA drivers here you download the latest one you gotta download this driver first and make sure you have your GPU connected and running. Like, doesn't matter doesn't matter if there's something showing your screen, like of course they want showing your screen, like in the monitor you hooked up. As long as it's connected and running and you can view what you need to do on your normal built in display, if that makes any sense. So you should be able to boot up without anything showing on your external monitor. So you must install that first before you install the support software. So before you do any of those, you might you have to go to the recovery mode and disable the system integrity protection. So as long as you follow the steps, you shouldn't have any issues at all. So this is a complete forum. People talking about um, their setup and about their issues and people try to help each other out, trying to get things resolved. So this is a good place to look for your solutions and your drivers and such. So let's get that out of the way and let's pull up some Do the Giant Heaven benchmark. Oh, where is it? Right here. This is the max setting ultra extreme and anti aliasing at times eight. 1080p that's the max resolution I can put since I have a 1080p monitor only so I'm going to close out the screen recording so it does not affect the performance whatsoever so alright guys um, right now I'm on my camera so we can I can show you the benchmarks here so I just click run it's going to pull up in full screen My other one. All right, let's start the benchmark. When you want to get off the darkest ground, the gravity pulls you straight down.
All right, guys, here are the results. 71 average FPS, a score is 1790. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day, guys.